when my friend Doug called me and asked me whether I could take his 1974 La Verda SFC out for a shakedown ride, well, I couldn't say no. I quickly packed my cameras, my CB500X was closest to the door, so I took it with me. The opportunity to ride this very rare motorcycle was a learning experience to me. I'm not a motorcycle historian or an expert about motorcycles, not even an expert rider. I'm a lifelong learner and I like riding, photographing and making videos about motorcycles. So I researched, photographed and made a video about this bike. La Verda is an Italian motorcycle manufacturer from Breganze, province of Vicenza in the Veneto region of Italy, close to where my Italian family came from. It was founded in 1949 and like several European motorcycle manufacturers, La Verda could not compete with the Japanese Big Four when in the 70s their motorcycles started to win races. Eventually, La Verda was purchased by Aprilia in the year 2000. Soon after, in 2003, Aprilia used its RSV1000 as a basis to design a prototype to revive the La Verda as a brand and with it the SFC name. Aprilia was not exactly in a financial position to take any risks at that time. This prototype never got into production. In its turn, Aprilia was purchased by the Piaggio Group in 2004 and Piaggio chose to discontinue the La Verda brand. And that was the end of it, as far as I know. One could wish Piaggio, which holds brands like Moto Guzzi and Vespa besides Aprilia, could bring the La Verda brand back. Well, let's go back to reality. The 750cc parallel twin La Verdas were probably the best motor and motorcycle combo produced by the company. From 1968 to 1977, La Verda made the 750, the GT, S, SF, SF1, SF2, GTL and SF3. These bikes were probably responsible for what one author described as the fabulous 1970s. It was likely the pinnacle of La Verda. And within these bikes, there were the special ones, the SFC, the race-ready versions, which were made in small quantities, motors hand-built on a separate production line. They were what today we would call track motorcycles, street legal but ready to race. The SFC were produced between 1971 and 76, and the SFC, which means Super Freni Competizione, or Super Brakes Competition, were an improved version of the 750cc models. Besides already good components, like Brembo brakes, Ceriani suspension, forged wheels, the hand-built motors had larger valves, a racing cam, a reworked cylinder head, polished rockers, and the crankshaft and rods were polished and balanced. The 1975 and 76 models, the last two years in the model range, had Bosch electronic ignition. La Verda was known since its beginning for building machines that were overbuilt and reliable, capable of winning endurance races, with early models taking first, second and third place in a 24-hour race in the Netherlands and placing first and third in the 500 kilometers of Monza. Besides its successful track record, the SFCs were also gorgeous machines, and they were on the Art of the Motorcycle exhibit in the Guggenheim Museum in the late 90s. Back to Doug's bike, in 1974 only 222 SFC were made, and of those only 100 came to the United States, and Doug's bike was likely the last one to be officially imported into the United States. Doug rebuilt this machine, including the motor, and he wanted someone to ride it, do a shakedown run to see if everything was in order, and that's how I entered the story.
Doug started riding it and a few blocks from his house we exchanged bikes. The bike has very aggressive ergonomics, but somehow it fits me well. Even though I'm not used to sport bikes, I felt right at home on it. It must be my Italian DNA, shorter legs and a longer torso. When riding it, I noticed the gears are long and close to each other and I found torque everywhere on the RPM range. It seems perfect for an endurance racer. I could feel by the increasing acceleration and how the motor got smoother when closer to 6000 RPM that it likes higher RPMs. But the motor was in the break-in period, I stayed between 4 and 6000 RPM. Still, I enjoyed riding it and I got a feel for its capability. And the sounds it makes, oh... Heaven for motorcyclists, especially riders like me who love two-cylinder motors. After a few miles, we stopped for a quick check to ensure there were no leaks and all else was still attached, as it should, since this was the first ride after the rebuild. Uh, no big chunks of oil coming out anywhere. <laughs> okay. Then we continued riding so I could stretch its muscles using all five gears. back, Doug and I changed helmets so he could video the bike in action. So let's gather some final thoughts about this motorcycle. First of all, I did not want to stop riding it. Despite its aggressive riding position, the ergonomics suited me well as mentioned before. It was an experience riding it. I wish I could have ridden it more. I'm not a sports bike rider, but this bike is addictive to ride. The sounds, the experience, everything about it was absolutely fantastic. I knew this bike was valuable before I started riding it, but my estimate was not even close to its real value. There we go. Okay. Man, you know, the one thing that was difficult was the clutch at the yeah. end. I don't know if it got harder or if my hand got weaker. My hand Your hand weak. got weaker. <laughs> <laughs> While I took some last photos of it, 
Doug tells me it was worth about $50,000. And judging by another similar bike for sale on Bring a Trailer, he was pretty much in the ballpark. And it probably could fetch more than $50,000, as we can see from this other site, as of today, where a low mileage example has a 75000 asking price. Well, I'm glad I did not know it was this valuable when I was riding it. Up until then, I believe the most valuable motorcycle I've ever ridden was my Multistrada Pikes Peak at less than half of $50,000 and that was a very short ride at that value because as soon as I turned the first corner off of the dealership showroom, its depreciation clock started and the value plummeted. The La Verda SFC, on the other hand, has a tendency of having its value increase. Just a few months after we recorded this video, in July of 2022, the Museo Moto La Verda was open in Bregance. This will help keep the brand alive, I'm sure, and it will certainly make these bikes more valuable, especially the SFC 750 La Diva. Thank you for watching this video. Ci vediamo.